Hey everybody, it's time for another buy bar pass. What do we got today, Grease? Oh, I'm just trying to make my hands real hot. <laughs> This is a buy bar pass video. This is where we rate and review a whiskey and we use our own special rating system. Grease, tell them about it. It's called buy bar pass. If we love it, we want you to buy it. If it's good, you know, a good price. We do take that in consideration. We've got bar, which means that, you know, it might not be our cup of tea, but if you see it in a bar, we might think that a lot of other people could like it and we just don't. And a solid freaking pass. Typically, we say hard pass. Yeah, get away from it. Yeah, we don't really say like barely pass. We've soft always... pass. It's a soft pass right there. Have you said soft pass before? I don't think so, but I'm about to. I'm going to say it soon. Soft pass. Okay, I thought you knew something that reasons. I didn't know, but you're just saying now, that now okay. it's on the front of your head? First of all, that's accurate. I do know some things you don't know. Grease, what do we got today? We've got Heaven's Door 10-year Decade Series, right? It's series. Decades Series? Yeah, it's the Decade Series, so that makes us think there's going to be more than one. Right. This is their limited release from Heaven's Door, the Bob Dylan Whiskey. This you know is when, interesting. You know when we talk to Burning Lovers about like what's in a label? Yeah. You want me to read on it? No. We know that there's going to be more releases because it says oh. it's plural. Yeah. So this is aged 10 years. We got an age statement on it. It is the decade series, which would uh, infer that it's 10 years. Yeah. It is straight bourbon whiskey. So we know that it meets a lot of standards. Yeah. It's 100 proof. Yeah. I mean, smart on them. They're going to get a little bit more product. They probably don't have a lot of 10-year stock, you know? Yeah. So trying to make it a, while, uh, a wider release. I know that... Our buddy Don at Fairview Liquors and Fine Wines here um, in Fairview, Tennessee, he got like two cases of it. Okay. He got like 12 bottles of it. So, you know, maybe at that 100 proof, we're going to be seeing a lot of them out there and maybe people can get them. So this is distilled in Tennessee. It's with over 20% rye in the mash bill and non-charcoal mellowed. This bourbon is unlike anything you have ever had from Tennessee before. So interesting. So it's 10 year age stated. The non charcoal mellowed through me. Like the wording was right, weird. Right, right, right. Because but they're it, trying to say it's not. It's, just, it's in Tennessee, but it's not right. of the Tennessee. But I, my brain went to non chill filtered, but it's non charcoal mellowed. It's a funny, it was a funny way to phrase it, Bob. Right. They're actually kind of throwing some shade at Tennessee. Bob Dylan says, I want. I wanted to create a collection of American whiskeys Did he? that in their own way tell a story. <laughs> That's weird. That was the worst Bob Dylan impression I've ever done. Whoa! That sounded like a pop gun. You know what I mean? Like old, uh, like from uh, cartoons. Huey, Dewey, and Louie used to have them in DuckTales. You know what I'm talking about. It's got a little cork in it, in the pop gun, and they go, Pop Gun 3. Goose of Resurrections. Pretty good pop. The hip hop, you don't stop. I'd love to see Goose resurrected. I wouldn't. Never liked Why him. Why not? He was a crappy character. No. Mm. One good. Dude, you're going to upset mom's groups real bad. Mom's groups don't know. Oh, they are full on Goose. Yeah. They, they, they don't know anything. They, they like Mavericks, you know. Physique. Well, yeah, because Goose didn't even take his shirt off at the freaking volleyball tournament. Goose died Goose. in the worst way. Literally the worst. No, uh, you gotta open. You gotta pull the hatch first, bud. I blame him. He did it to himself. All right. So I don't know why that I'm thinking this is a real person. So, and I'm getting upset. So upset about it. I feel like. All right, we gotta get back. All right, let's get back to the whiskey. Cheers, hey, my friend. Speaking of going through heaven's door, will. Hey. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> Bob Dylan jokes. Hey, Mr. Tambourine. That was very fancy, Bob Dylan. Play a song for me. You British? You British, Bob Dylan? And whatever you want me to be. <laughs> a lot of fruit. It smells smells yeah. pretty good. Yeah, a lot of fruit <laughs> forward. To be honest with you. So what's curious about it, though, is that it's 10 years old and the charcoal mellowing happens after the distillation, right? So yes. this is 10-year-old yes. Tennessee whiskey that 
they thought 10 years ago not yeah, they just to drip them in the vats the, to drip through there. the old vat. Yeah. Now, um, let me go ahead and tell you what this, this smells like. I haven't tasted it yet. What's it smell like? You know the fruit striped gum? Yeah. You open it up so you get and all, take all off the, the cap and you just smell it like right there. Yeah. That's what it smells like. Yeah, it's fruit forward. I said that. I know, but like a ta- like a like make your when when you put a piece of fruit striped gum in your mouth, let me go ahead and tell you what happens. There is a uh God ordained flood of rapids coming down your glands like a freaking banshee, okay? And it's just coming down here, and it floods it, okay? That's why the gum runs out of flavor so fast. I was going to say it greases very quickly. Yeah. It, it might doesn't as well last just, very long. It might as well just be in a highway of freaking fluids because it's going to get run over. Okay. And and the gum is no longer existent. Going to have to toss that out. And, but guess what? It comes with, 20, comes with 24 pieces. Yeah, so you can pop just- another one. Spit it out. Don't ever go two. Go round two. Do not go. No, I'm no, telling you, don't, don't do ever it put two for two. a time. No, you'll start turning into a zebra. That is. This is so good. It's very light. It's got great. A oak. lot of fruit. Good oak. It has I was a ex- ton of flavor. I was expecting fruit. it to be a little heavier, like a heavier uh, tannin. Heavy bitter, but no fruit. The finish, dude, is just I'm like fruit so- strap gum, baby. <laughs> heaven's just like fruit door, gum. heaven's door, dude. I want the. Heavens. I haven't been this impressed. On, I mean, here's the deal: heaven's door. I've had some good offerings, but I, I, I haven't loved it. Yeah, they come out with you know. Oh, we've got a limited release, as everybody's doing right now. It's overpriced. Yeah. But this coming in at a hundred proof, hundred proof, crazy flavor. How does it feel? Balanced oak to be on your own in a liquor store. Your GPS is dead, so you've got no direction home. You just feel like a Rolling Stone. Okay. Hey, Bob Dylan jokes. So, what's the uh, SRP on this? We're coming in at ninety dollars. Will okay and on the dot, or was it like eighty nine ninety? It was eighty nine ninety nine plus tax. However. I tried to confirm this, and I thought my wife used our credit card, but she just used my personal one. So I get to keep it, is what I'm saying. No, I thought we split this. Lauren bought it for me for my birthday. This is a really it's, tasty. It's, it's great. It's 10-year age stated. I'm going to say that, that is, that's worth $90. That's a sleeper. That's a sleeper for sure. Yeah. I, I mean, I think I'm by on this. I think I'm I'm uh, the finish alone. Here's the deal: it's well balanced on the front palate. I was expecting You're getting that fruit forward notes, yeah. But the finish it lasts so long. Now I will say that I'm getting a little bit like medicinal on the finish. Sometimes I don't get too. that. I I just don't like a Robitussin. I was expecting more uh, oak finish, and the oak finish actually isn't there for a ten year age stated. I was expecting to have more oak on the finish. Fine with it not being there, but I'm getting I'm getting some oak influence. On I get oak influence, but it's not as heavy oak, and so it has a lighter mouth feel. Like it's not as viscous. Yes, but something stays. The flavor stays there. Something yes. stays. Yes, it I'm might not, not be oily. That's what I'm saying. The mouth feel is it is probably the weakest point of it. Is the yeah mouth. yeah it's kind of but the flavor is there. It can so it's feel a little ethanol. Confusing. E because because stringent of the you mean maybe like it drying yeah. it's it's see, I don't think it's drying no. it's, it makes you salivate like a no it does like a bird dog yeah it doesn't dry it but yeah it it feel on the front end it you feel like it's going to be hot and yep. it just goes whoosh. I'm actually I'm very pleasantly surprised with this it's it's a darn good whiskey yeah drinks well. For ninety dollars, I think it's going to be a sleeper. I think you're actually going to be able to find this one, right? Because people are going to see it and be like, "eh." And compared to, especially compared to other Heaven Store, yeah, uh, whiskeys that I've tried, this one smokes them. Smokes them. absolutely smokes them. I'm I'm a solid buy for this one. I'm a solid buy too, man. Like I, I'm honestly, I'm confused of yeah, why. I, I was expecting the best rating I could get out of this is bar. And, I agree with and you. And I actually don't um, I agree with you. I I don't Especially know at the how. price. Yeah. 
especially at the price. Well, especially compared to some other things that are coming out that are, you know, $5 cheaper that are right. nowhere near age stated or in that same price range that you're seeing from, from brands that are newer or craft or, or anything like that. It, it, it really is surprising how it, at 10 year age statement that it's not 125 bucks. A hundred. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know, will it could release the same exact product and put it in a black bottle and it will go for $500. Yeah. You know what I mean? I hear you. Except for that would be a ride then at that point. Okay, fair. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching this buy bar or pass. Grease is a buy. And Will is a buy as well on this. We liked it. We think you should try it. If you yeah. tried it, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let us know what you thought of it. And if you want to support the podcast, go to patreon.com slash the podcast. If you want to get access to some exclusive single barrels, go to oakandthieves.com. And join up there to get access to some darn good whiskey. Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. And we'll talk to you next time. We love you, man.